we need to look at every aspect of our life and 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 think rethink you know why do we do this why are we living this way why are we drinking chlorine in our water why why maybe we have fluoride in the water why are we doing that is that a benefit or is that is this a friend or foe do we want to do that or do we want to take that out of the water uh, so you know with, from everything from light we're talking about full spectrum light more natural lighting indoors as well as natural lighting outdoors uh, the water that we drink the air that we breathe do we have clean air what is clean air clean air is is negatively charged like that living water in in our body that we're talking about living vibrant air is is full of negative ions which becomes an exclusion zone for viruses and bacteria and dust and all toxins in the air it, it has a similar function it cleans the air we get that from plants we get that from moving water so uh, and, and we can use filtration systems that produce that kind of clean air we certainly don't get it from from air conditioning systems that produces positive ions because any negative ions there we have metal ducts carrying the air and the negative ions are stripped off the air out of the air by those ducts <clears throat> so the environment is a key thing uh, again air water light what about exercise how we move you know we don't tend to get uh, exercise the way our ancestors did who were mostly agrarian and so they worked with the earth and with plants and animals and nature we have a nature deficiency we're not grounded to the earth we don't get electrons from the earth the earth is a negatively charged celestial body but we've isolated ourselves from it we wear our sneakers and driving out around in our rubber tired cars and we're in buildings that are often isolated from the the earth's field from the negative charge ground and from the human field and we need all those exposures we can't live very long without air without oxygen so air sometimes is number one okay. you know if you, if you have air that's really not qu the quality that you need to breathe mm -hmm. properly that could be number one uh, but yeah, in most cases, I'd say water is a good, it's a, it's a perfectly good starting point if we're not talking about a, a particular person or a you know, particular environment. Uh, and most of our water supplies are not good. You know, e even you think maybe you're, you're doing better than tap water, right? You're avoiding the chlorinated and fluoridated water, which, uh, you know, destroys the spirit, the brain, the consciousness. It's, it's how it was first used, actually. Fluoridation was used in both uh, the Russian gulags and, 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 the, uh, and the concentration camps in Nazi Germany to make people docile, to control the spirit, to control the mind, to dull the mind. So if you want a dull mind, tap water is one way to get it. But uh, the micro water units, we call them, uh, <clears throat> will first filter out the, the toxins that you don't want, so you now have water, but water is not all the same. You know, if, you, if you're drinking water from plastic bottles, you're getting uh, xenoestrogens the, from the plasticizers that leach out into the water. With distillation or reverse osmosis, you're removing, you're, you're getting water which is purified, but you're removing the, the life energy, removing the, the alkaline minerals that have been shown to, to in studies starting in Japan and then Europe, cities with more alkaline water, there was lower rates of cancer and heart disease and, and skin problems, etc. So we want to preserve the alkaline minerals, maybe even concentrate the alkaline minerals and, and drink those. We want to remove the toxins with pre-filters and use electrolysis to to do that concentration of the alkaline minerals while pulling out acid minerals because we want to reduce acidity. Our modern life is too acidic. We eat too much processed food. That's acid forming. We take synthetic medications that are acid forming. Uh, and we don't eat enough plants that are alkalizing. It also concentrates electrons. It puts extra electrons into that alkaline water from the, the electrolysis, electrolysis plates. So that's, that's important too. So you're getting an alkaline, negatively charged water, small clusters that can easily penetrate into the body tissues 10 times better than other filtered waters. 
And once it gets in there, it has the right characteristics of being alkaline and negatively charged and a small cluster that can easily add on to make more of those sheets of living water. So that's the real advantage of the, the micro water approach. As far as, uh, <clears throat> yes, moving on to diet, certainly nutrition, you know, we, we don't do well for very long unless we eat something in most cases. And, but the way we produce the food and store and ship it and process it and cook it and kill it <laughs> many times over, we wind up with very little nutrition. You know, it's often said that, that the American population is the, the most overfed and undernourished population in history. And so we see obesity and yet multiple uh, severe deficiencies of vitamins and minerals and other nutrients. So we're getting calories so that are empty. So, so both, both emphasizing better foods, and, you know, maybe growing a garden, or certainly organic foods. GMO foods have pesticides uh, for, for, for multiple reasons. That some of them are producing their own pesticides, and they're also designed to withstand higher level of pesticides. They're using pesticides to harvest non-organic crops. Uh, just to kill the plant so it'll dry when they want it, and you know, rather than letting it uh, dry with, with its own season in the sun. 